Tirona National Park is a protected national park located on the northern coast of Colombia, about 35 kilometers from the city of Santa Marta. The park covers an area of 150 square kilometers and is often described as a tropical paradise. Not only you will find white sandy beaches surrounded by huge palm trees and intense blue water, the park is also rich in culture and wildlife. Are you planning to explore Tirona National Park? Note that there are several ways to do this. In this video I will share all my tips and tricks. You can easily reach Tirona National Park from Santa Marta. Depending on the city from which you want to travel to Santa Marta, there are several options. We ourselves traveled from Medellin to Santa Marta. and There are several options for this trip. For example, you can travel by bus or by plane. The buses of Expresso Brasilia departs daily every 4 hours from Medellin to Santa Marta. The trip takes about 16 hours and depending on which bus and time of day you choose, costs between 20 and 45 euros per person for a one-way ticket. Once you're at the train station in Santa Marta, you can take a bus or a cab to Tirona. The bus takes about an hour and costs a few euros and the cab takes about 50 minutes and costs about 25 euros. Another option, the one we chose for, is to fly from Medellin to Santa Marta. This flight takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes and costs between 25 and 80 euros per person for a one-way trip on average. We flew with Viva Air and paid 45 euros per person. You then travel further by cab or bus. A cab goes directly. This ride takes about 1 hour and costs 35 euros. If you prefer to travel by bus, you should first take the bus to the center of Santa Marta and then transfer to another bus that will take you to Tirona. Traveling by bus is a lot cheaper and costs only a few euros per person, but it does take more time, namely about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Online you read a lot about the insafety of traveling by bus through Colombia. On certain routes, for example around Santa Marta, it sometimes happens that a bus is mugged. Fortunately, in most cases nothing happens and all goes well. However, since we were traveling with a lot of expensive gear such as cameras, laptops and a drone, we opted to travel by plane and cab for a few extra euros. Just do what makes you feel comfortable and safe. If you're traveling from Cartagena to Tirona, there are no direct flights to Santa Marta, so the best and cheapest option is to take the bus. A good option are the minivans from Marsol. These are small buses that pick you up and drop you off at your accommodation. The price of such a bus ride is about 15 euros per person and the ride takes you about 4.5 hours. Tirona National Park has two different entrances, namely El Zeno and Calabasso. El Zeno is the main entrance and is best to use if, like most people, you want to walk to Cabo San Juan. Are you planning to go to Playa Brava? Then it's best to choose the Calabasso entrance. Tirona Park is open from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. The entrance fee to the park is about 30 euros per person at both entrances. You can pay this amount either in cash or by credit card. Then, they say it's mandatory to purchase a health insurance on site for each day you stay in the park. This is separate from your personal health insurance and costs about 1 euro 20 per person per day. However, once in the park, this is not checked at all. Note, the park is closed for several weeks each year to allow the ecosystem to recover. So check carefully in advance if that is not the period you want to visit the park. You can choose to spend just one day in the park, which is what most people do. Walk to Cabo San Juan, relax on the beautiful beach here and walk back to the entrance at the end of the day. The start of the hiking trail is about a one hour walk from the park entrance. It is also possible to take a minivan from the entrance to the start of the hiking trail, then you will be there in just 10 minutes. To take this minivan, you pay about 1 euro per person for a round trip. Hiking to Cabo San Juan takes about 2 hours. Along the way you will pass several beaches. Of course you can stop at these places to enjoy the beautiful views or to cool off in the water. While hiking through the jungle, pay attention because you can encounter wildlife everywhere. We ourselves saw monkeys, capybaras and a toucan, but spotting wildlife is certainly not guaranteed. Note: The currents at Beach Erisayev can be very strong. Several people have unfortunately drowned here in the past, which is why it's now forbidden to swim here. Would you rather take it a bit more easy? Then we recommend staying at least one night in the park. 
This way you can linger a little longer at certain spots along the way and enjoy the beautiful surroundings. We ourselves also spent one night in the park at Cabo San Juan. In the late afternoon, the day trippers leave the park and you can enjoy a fantastic sunset with just a few people. The next day, after a beautiful sunrise, walk the same route back to the park entrance. A little tip, between Cabo San Juan beach and La Piscina you will find another beach. As far as we know, this place does not have a name, but it is incredibly beautiful. The best part? You will have this place all to yourself, because there are no other people here. This is also the beach where we took almost all of our drone shots. Should you wish to stay even longer than one night in the park, then you could also choose to walk from Cabo San Juan to Playa Brava. This is a hike of about 3 hours, during which you have to climb quite a bit here and there. Therefore, it's a lot quieter on this beach. From Playa Brava, you walk in about two and a half hours to the other exit of the park, Calabasso. A tip, you can also walk the other way around. Start at the Calabasso entrance and walk via Playa Brava and Cabo San Juan to El Zeno. Where to stay in Tyrona? Do you want to spend just one day in Tyrona National Park? Then you can choose to book an accommodation close to the entrance of the park, so you can be one of the first ones there in the morning. Hi guys, we have arrived in Tyrona. It's really hot here, so I'm sitting inside our cabin underneath a fan, because we're not used to these temperatures yet. I can't wait to visit Tyrona National Park tomorrow. Um, we chose an accommodation just outside the park. It's very close to the entrance called Zeno. Yeah, it's like a five minute walk from here. So the plan is to uh, stay a night here outside the park and go very early tomorrow morning to the entrance and uh, reserve a tent uh, to stay at inside the park. Tyrona National Park features beautiful nature and white sandy beaches from where you can enjoy the most fantastic sunrise and sunset. We can definitely recommend an overnight stay in the park. Most campsites cannot be booked in advance though. The best way to reserve a spot is early in the morning before the park opens at the El Zeno entrance. In the park you will find a number of campsites where you can stay. The most popular place to stay is Cabo San Juan and we totally get why. Cabo San Juan is about a two hour walk from the start of the trail. The camp and beach are located in the bay so the water is very calm and you can have a nice swim here. Should you also want to stay in Cabo San Juan, you have the choice of a basic tent or a hammock. These are located along the beach, so you wake up with a beautiful view. For more information about spending the night at Cabo San Juan, I would like to refer you to my blog, of which I put the link down in the description. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, so you don't miss any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you for my next video. Bye!